If you've been discarded by a narcissist, there is a good chance that your head was left spinning because the discard really has nothing to do with you and therefore it doesn't make a lot of sense. This can leave you with an intense feeling that you need closure that you don't have. So I'm gonna go ahead and give you a little bit of closure right now before we get to the eight ways that a narcissist will discard. So narcissists discard for usually one of three reasons. One, they've lost control over you or they feel like they have. And if they've done this, if they have lost control over you, they may discard and then hoover back just to show you who's boss, just to show you that they can leave you at any moment and they will. Another reason a narcissist may discard is self-preservation. So if they feel like that false persona that they protect with their lives is being threatened, then they may discard. And if this happens, if they're feeling threatened in this way, the discard may also come with a smear campaign. If you've ever dealt with this, let us know in the comments. And the third common reason that a narcissist will discard is just because they're bored. Narcissists notoriously have very short attention spans. And this is the most confusing of all because you think things are good. You think you're in love and the person you're with is in love with you. But if you're with a narcissist, they're not capable of the type of love that you have to give and the type of love that you're expecting to receive. So if you've been discarded, take this as your closure that it really did have nothing to do with you. Sure, maybe you weren't perfect in the relationship, but who is? And I just want to be clear that a narcissist discard has more to do with them than it does with you. My name is Christina and this channel is dedicated to helping you recognize and overcome the effects of emotional abuse. So if this is something that has touched your life, feel free to subscribe because there's a whole lot of content here that you may find helpful. And if you suspect that you're in a relationship with a narcissist or you've just been discarded by one, I have a checklist that goes through each of the phases so you can follow along with how this tracks for your relationship. You'll find that in the description below. So now let's dive into the eight ways narcissists discard. Now this is not an exhaustive list. So if you've been discarded in a way that does not fit with any of these eight categories, please feel free to let us know in the comments below. If it's happened to you, there's a good chance it has happened to others out there. Narcissists are nothing if they're not predictable. So the first one is ghosting, and some of us are very familiar with this one. It's not true that only narcissists will ghost people, but narcissists are very good at ghosting because they can cut people off without a second thought. And so ghosting essentially is just disappearing from your life without a trace. They may block you on every social platform, and they may even block your phone number, or they just simply don't respond to your efforts to reach out to them. And oftentimes, especially with a narcissist, you have no idea why. You don't know what happened. One minute they were into you, and the next minute they just disappeared. And if you're dealing with a narcissist who hoovers, there's a chance that after this period of ghosting, they may come back around again. And the problem is that when this happens, when they come back around again, you might let them back in because you think you're gonna get answers. You think you're gonna get some level of closure. This doesn't happen. All that really happens is you start on another cycle of abuse. So another type of discard that you'll find with a narcissist happens more in marriages and family relationships where the narcissist doesn't actually physically leave, but they emotionally check out of the relationship. And this can happen and often does in the form of silent treatment. What we would call a discard would be a silent treatment that would last for an extended period of time. The other type of silent treatment that you might be familiar with is more for the purposes of manipulation and control. The extended silent treatment is usually more about a discard. It's really that narcissist checking out and letting you know under no uncertain terms that even though they haven't left, they are just done with you for now. So this next one I have alluded to in the intro, and that is the discard for the purpose of control. Now, sometimes when a narcissist senses that you're getting a little bit too confident and a little bit too comfortable in this relationship, their ego kicks in and they want to teach you a lesson. They want to show you that you have no right to be comfortable. You better keep working for their attention, their affection, whatever crumbs they're going to give you. 
They want you to work for it. And they want to make sure that you appreciate them no matter what, even if they're doing absolutely nothing for you but giving you aggravation. They want to make sure that you appreciate them. And so they'll discard. Usually they'll give you some lame excuse as to why the relationship has to end. And this is another one where that lack of closure becomes glaringly obvious because they could cite something that maybe they previously loved about you. And that's the reason why they just can't be with you. Maybe it's a big, loud personality, or maybe it's the fact that you're so empathetic and caring. It could even be that you have blonde hair and they're into people with red hair now. And this is why so many people are left desperately seeking closure because they just don't believe the reason. The truth is that that reason is true for the narcissist. Remember that they don't actually form the same type of human connections that you and I do because they are deficient in emotional empathy. And so it's difficult to form that true bond for them. And so what they feel for someone, they often do think that it's love, but it is, it's not true love. It's not love like you probably know love. And so when all is said and done and the discard comes down and you're left with some lame reason, it doesn't compute. You can't imagine how someone who loved you would actually end the relationship for some nonsense reason. So you think they're lying or you think that they're trying to spare your feelings for some reason. And really, there's nothing deeper there. It's truly that love to a narcissist is different. And it's not what you would actually call love. So another way narcissists will discard is by projecting everything onto you, projecting all of their problems onto you and shifting the blame to you for everything that's gone on in the relationship. And now here's where some of you may start to notice that you're seeing multiple ways that a narcissist will discard all wrapped up into one discard you've experienced. And this is pretty common too. But with this blame shifting projection discard, they walk away with their hands clean, they're a saint, and they were really just putting up with you and all your flaws all along. They may even tell you, you are so lucky I put up with you for this long. I just can't do it anymore. Or this is another very common one. You will never find anyone like me. And to that, I hope your response, even if it's just internally, is yeah, let's hope not. Because let's not sugarcoat it. These are emotionally abusive relationships and we don't need more of that in our lives. So another way that a narcissist will discard is through some form of triangulation. So they may leave you for someone else, implying that that person is better in general than you, that that person can provide more than you can. And usually these discards are very brutal and they really truly destroy your sense of self and your self-worth. This can happen in romantic relationships. It can also happen in family relationships where let's say maybe a parent chooses one child over another and pushes the other out of that circle. It could even happen at work where a boss chooses one person for a promotion over another, even though the other is much more qualified. Another way a narcissist may discard is through public humiliation and or shame. So they may do something very public. And this is what I often call burning bridges. In this type of discard, you think there is absolutely no chance that after all that they've done, after the way that they've humiliated you and put all your business and drama out for the world to see, you wouldn't think that any sane person would have the audacity to show up back in your life. But a narcissist is not your average person. A narcissist very much does have the audacity. They can and will show back up at any moment without any shred of remorse whatsoever. Similar to this is when the narcissist goes down in a blaze of glory. You know things are ending and maybe you're even over the narcissist's nonsense at this point. And as they go out, they want to make sure that they inflict maximum punishment upon you. So this is when you may experience a smear campaign. This is when they may purposely sabotage your career or something good that you have going in your life. 
So not only are they ending this relationship, they are discarding you, but they are doing it in the most brutal way to inflict the most pain possible. And this all happens very quickly. You can go from being in a relationship that you think is somewhat stable. I don't think anyone really feels that stable in a relationship with a narcissist. You kind of always feel like the rug is about to get pulled out from under you at any moment or the other shoe is about to drop. But you feel about as stable as you ever do in these kinds of relationships. And then it goes from here to just this insane level of chaos and destruction. And again, you wonder how anybody who loved you could treat you that way, could turn so quickly against you. The truth is a narcissist can because it's not about you at all. And another way that a narcissist may discard, and this one's a little bit less common than the others, but another way is that they might make you so miserable that you leave them. Now, this one is not as common because usually when it happens, it's unintentional. The making you miserable part is intentional. They are doing that part on purpose. They want to knock you down to make themselves feel better about themselves, to make themselves look better in the eyes of everyone else. Although we know that doesn't always work. Sometimes it fails spectacularly. But a narcissist can and will gaslight someone and devalue them to a point where they feel like they've had enough. There is a line in the book, The Four Agreements, that I quote terribly in a few videos, and I'm going to do it again now. And that line goes something like, you will only let someone else abuse you as much as you abuse yourself. And that line always struck me personally. And what I find really interesting about it is that we all have these subconscious yet self-imposed limits to everything. We have limits to success. And we also have limits to abuse. We have limits to what we will and will not put up with. So when a narcissist pushes you to that breaking point, you may not ever go back. And I would highly suggest that you follow that path if at all possible. Because if you discard a narcissist before they discard you and then you make the mistake of taking them back to a narcissist, you are giving them a reason to punish you. This is when the most brutal discards take place, when they hoover you back only for the purpose of discarding you again. If you've ever experienced that, or if you have ever gotten to the point where you're so miserable that you just were ready to walk away and you did, I want to hear about it in the comments below. And to get back to that concept of closure, there's one more thing I want to share with you to reinforce the idea, the truth that it's not about you at all. The truth is the narcissist wants you to believe that it's you, that you're the problem. They would love nothing more because then it's not them and it can never be them, but really it's all an illusion. And I break that down for you in this video right here. So if you're dealing with this on any level, I suggest you watch that one and I'll see you next time.